you know, in, in many ways, there is that sort of thread that weaves all of the faiths, right? That there's this, this aspect of breath and, um, and there are, in him, there are gods of breath, right? Mm -hmm. So that vital life force that comes into us and it's, you know, it, it, it's such a beautiful representation, I think, of the, um, the sort of elusive spirit, like this thing that connects us to everything, um, no, no matter what the faith. Is it, is it God? Is it nature? But there's this the spirit that runs through everything. And in many ways, the breath is, is like that. Right? We, we breathe in the whole world. Yeah. And we breathe it out. And it's, I mean, it's sort of a profound to think about the, the amount of time that that has been going on. Absolutely. There are practices that really demand a more vigorous breath with the intention of disrupting, disrupting the habits of breathing. And then the, those that really calm things down. And I think all of them have that shared aspect of like getting back to a resilient breath to have a, re a breath that's free and spontaneous and that can respond to the task at hand. So I think it is a, a wonderful way to see all the different ways that we can play with freeing the breath.